This plant was originally designed for Alaska North Slope crude. It's not going to be around forever. And so we do need to diversify just to keep the, uh, the refinery running. You have to add water to wash the salt and gross materials out of the crude. And then you have to separate the oil and water. And as we started to process more alternate crude, it became very difficult to get this separation. You have to know how much water you have in there and how much oil you have on top of it. Otherwise, you can run the risk of putting oil at the bottom and putting water at the top. I'm here to tell you, when water goes out the top of that vessel, the process doesn't like it. So we came up with the idea of using gamma rays to let us know where the water-oil boundary was located. We used to have water that looked like this. Now, the water looks like this. Since installing the profiler, we increased our capability to run alternate crude by about 20,000 barrels per day. It's a very big deal. This is probably one of the most successful projects that I've ever worked on.